In this video, we'll use RDM to assist us in patching our rig. To do this, we'll start by opening the RDM device list. Here, our rental shop has sent us our fixtures all addressed to one. To find the fixture we want to use, we can use the identify function. Once we've identified the fixture we wish to use, next we can label it so that we know that this is the one that we want. Then, set the DMX personality. Here, we'd like this in quick set stage. Once the personality is correct, we can set the DMX start address. Note that because the rental shop was helpful in sending everything addressed to one, Cobalt identifies the DMX start address in red, indicating an overlap. To change this, type the new start address and press modify. While it may be fun, RDM is not allowed to change universes, so if you do try to change the universe, you will receive an error message. Once you have the DMX start address set, you can patch it to the channel that you would like it controlled from. Here, we'll use channel 10. When patching an RDM device, Cobalt will search the library for a matching device template. If found, it will suggest that you use it. Cobalt library templates include additional information that cannot be discovered via RDM, including color calibration and gobo images. If you would prefer that the device itself create a template for you, you can choose Force Basic Template. If you know that the fixture has changed or is very new, you may want to use the Force Basic Template as opposed to the library version. If a library version was not found, forcing the Basic Template is the only option presented. To patch using the device template from the library, click Patch. After clicking Patch, if this is the first time you have patched a device of this type, the template editor will open so that you may verify that the template is correct. If it is correct, you may click the X or press Escape to close the tab. You have now patched an RDM device. Now let's take a look at our device patch. In our device list, we see our Source 4 LED that we patched via RDM, as well as other previously patched fixtures. If we split our screen so that we can see both our device list and our RDM device list, we can see what happens when we patch the last RDM fixture. Clicking back into our device list, if we patch our last fixture to channel 1, again we are presented with the option of picking our template. We'll go ahead and use the library template. And it appears in our device list below. Notice the last column shows us that an RDM link is available. Now that we've patched our last RDM device, the RDM indicator has disappeared. It may reappear during RDM communication or if a new RDM device is discovered. Sometimes when device parameters are changed locally at the device or using the RDM device list, it can present an issue for the console having the device patched in a specific mode. Here we're going to show an example of changing the DMX personality on our Source 4 LED that's already been patched. If I go to my RDM device list and change the DMX personality from, say, Quick Set Stage to Quick Set General, notice that I have an RDM mismatch indicator and the personality turned red. You must resolve this mismatch for that indicator to go away. You may not be able to fully control the device in question until that mismatch has been cleared. 